Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can become an IT manager. IT manager is an interesting profession in the world of information technology. Sometimes it's a very technical role and sometimes it's more people management, but there's a lot of stuff in between. And that's what I'm going to talk about today so that you can identify if you want to become an IT manager. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. And here on this YouTube channel, we talk about careers in information technology and anything related to this topic. So how can you become an IT manager? There are several different ways how you can get into IT and become an IT manager. But there are areas and questions that you potentially have to identify. Is this actually a right career for you? And then what do you need to do to become an IT manager? And I'm not talking about apply for this position here, go through the interview and then succeed, get a job offer. I'm looking more at the overall role and responsibilities and then areas where you can improve your skill set, upgrade your skill set, or maybe you already have an existing skill set that just needs a little tweaking. So the first thing I want to talk about is what does an IT manager do? And I mentioned this previously. So there could be a really a technical role where you are a technical IT manager, or there could be the complete opposite where you are just a people manager, where you manage a group of individuals that are information technology professionals. So there could be really a lot of stuff in between because certain roles as an IT manager require that you have technical knowledge or that you have certain industry specific knowledge. You need to be potentially an escalation point for your team. And so when they come to you with certain questions, it's not just making a decision, but you have to sometimes really be that escalation point from a technical expertise perspective. So there are certain areas really where you need to determine what type of IT manager do you want to be? Do you want to be just the people manager or you want to be really on the other side of the spectrum, a very technical manager or in the middle? And this information will really help to identify as well how you can become an IT manager. So the next thing to consider is if you want to become an IT manager, what is the next step after? Do you just want to be an IT manager and that's it? You will be happy in that role or do you want to grow? And there are a couple of options. I mean, you could grow into the higher roles towards IT director, senior director, vice president of information technology, or maybe even become a CTO or CIO. So these things are to be on your mind in a certain way when you look at, okay, how do I become an IT manager? What steps do I need to take? And how can I set myself up for that success so that I really have the direction I need to go and make the right job decision when it comes to that point. So let's look at how you can become an IT manager and we're looking at work experience here first. So let's say you are working as a customer service manager or you manage a team. It's a good skill set that you potentially have already that will help you to become an IT manager because if you are experienced in managing people, well, you have that people management side already. You need to fill that technical side a little bit. And that can give you a direction of how to upgrade your skill set to then successfully apply for a role as an IT manager. So let's assume you have neither the skill set as a people manager, you do not have any technical skill set. You need to probably plan for a step in between before you can become an IT manager. And this is not just really education related, but work experience. You cannot just simply apply for for a manager role and hope that the hiring company and the hiring manager will just ignore everything that you did. If you work as a lumberjack and you apply for an IT manager role, there's pretty much nothing that will line up that gives anyone an idea why they should hire you as an IT manager. So you need to look at what is your foundation that you're coming from. And if you're starting over, I think it's really important to determine where do you want to go after being the IT manager. I mentioned this just a minute ago. If you want to become an IT director, you might have to have some technical knowledge, but there's also business knowledge that you need to have. There's people management knowledge that you need to have. So those are three items that you need to look at and then you need to identify how can you obtain that knowledge. Let's say you have people management experience. So again, the question is how much business knowledge, business experience do you have? Are you experienced in like running a budget and handling these type of things? Are you technically empowered to be an IT director? And what do you need to do if you want to become the IT director at the very end to fulfill that need for that technical knowledge? So we looked at these items here, people management, business experience, technical knowledge. So having these things figured out sets us up for planning your step into the information technology career. So let's say you have people management experience and you want to become a help desk manager 
or an IT manager to manage some system administrators, systems engineers. So the people management side is fine. Now you need to look at technical knowledge and how you can obtain it and how far do you go. So there are several things that I would recommend. The first thing I would recommend really is that you need a broader understanding of IT service management because you are a service provider as the IT manager for those individuals, be it help desk or system administrators. So if you look at, let's say, the ITIL framework, it would give you that knowledge really to understand the broader picture it's not technically that you understand a certain technology. So let's say like Linux or Windows or cloud or virtualization or help desk management. That's not what it is. ITIL gives you the idea about service management. What is a service really? What is the service delivery? What is service operation? Transition the service, how it goes into production and how it's being managed after the fact. So there are several pieces really where ITIL can help you to get that understanding. So ITIL framework, very high level talks about the service related pieces in an information technology organization and sets you up with this framework so that you can work through the different situation. And then you need to look at the technical side of things. So let's say you want to become a help desk IT manager. So you need to understand how basic troubleshooting works. You need to understand the situations that you are being confronted with being an IT manager at a help desk. So and that's where I would recommend that you need to have some basic IT knowledge. So so let's take a look at the Google IT support professional certification. That certification talks about certain technologies, certain troubleshooting steps. It talks about customer service and gives you a really high level understanding of what does it take to troubleshoot a computer or work as an IT support professional. So in that case, I would recommend go and take the Google IT support professional certification and add this to your skill set. So now you have people management, you have ITIL, and you have some technical knowledge. Now you are able to apply for positions as an IT help desk manager. There are still, of course, certain pieces that are missing. There's the work experience, and it will take some effort to convince people that you are an IT manager and that you have what it takes to run their help desk. If you wanna move towards system administration and from there into the IT director role, associate director role, you have to look at things slightly differently. You have to look at this more from a technical perspective. Yes, you need the people management side, ITIL is helpful, of course, but the technical side could be much more challenging because you also have to make decisions about strategic areas in information technology. Is it really the right thing to roll out this specific software or switch from Dell to HP? And what is the impact to that environment? Or let's say you have to migrate your servers or you want to virtualize your data center and you roll out virtualization or you take it a step further. You want to move your data center into the cloud. So there is really technical experience expertise required. And that requires a little more education and uh, really give you a path towards obtaining that experience before you can successfully apply for these roles as an IT manager. So if you want to become the IT manager for system administrators and system engineers, you need to speak their lingo. And I would say the best idea of what technology to start learning to potentially obtain like a Microsoft certificate or a Linux certification or a cloud certification is to look at job descriptions for job job openings as an IT manager to manage a group of system engineers and system administrators. Look at the job descriptions and identify the main technology these companies are looking for. There's usually an overlapping area that all of them have on their mind. Windows Server, Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS for cloud knowledge. Identify these areas and then you can go and educate yourself, ideally become certified and then start applying for these type of roles. So you get the idea this is not as straightforward as you may think it is. So the people management side, I want to say, is probably the easiest, especially if you can work as a manager in a different industry, in a different role. If you go towards the help desk, ITIL, and then potentially the Google IT support professional certification should set you up for success so that you can apply. If you go into the more technical roles, it's a little bit more challenging. And that's really where you need to look at, okay, what is the main technology I want to focus on? Educate yourself, show that you have the knowledge, and then you can apply for these positions. The last thing I want to mention, I haven't really talked about the business side of things here. Learning to budget correctly, build a budget, maintain a budget is one important item. Also really understanding the larger business decisions that come into IT and where you have to provide expertise back to the business. If they ask you 
for technical knowledge and business related questions? Well, that's an area if you don't have any knowledge and you just spit out certain ideas and responses that could set you up for failure. Spend some time educating yourself here so that you can move into this role and become an IT manager, an IT director. So I hope this video gives you an overall idea of what needs to be done to become an IT manager. It's not just really changing your resume and applying for IT manager jobs. You need to prepare yourself. You need to identify the appropriate areas where you need to start and then really build up that little roadmap for yourself so that within six to 12 months, you're potentially ready to apply for jobs or maybe even go internally at a company and then take on the role of an IT manager. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. Hit that little notification bell because then you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.